Mm. Hey guys, so I'm going to run you through how I made my own soakers. Soakers are an important way to wick off extra moisture from figure skating blades after a skate. Sometimes wiping down the blades with a cloth just doesn't get rid of all the water and this can lead to rusting. So I managed to buy all the materials for under $15 and I was able to make two pairs of soakers. You're going to need material for the outside, elastic band, sewing thread that's a similar colour to the outer material, a small hand towel of any colour you like, and pillow fluff. You'll also need a sewing machine or a needle if you're doing it by hand, scissors, measuring tape, pens and your skates. So first off we're going to have to measure a few things. We'll start with the blade length of your skates. Measure from the back of your blade to the furthest part in front of your toe pick. For blade height, measure from the bottom of the blade edge up to the part where the blades are fixed to the skate. For blade circumference, measure around the frontmost and heel anchors of the blade with your elastic band. Ensure that the elastic is firm but not too taut. Now that you've got the correct length, you can snip the elastic band. Using these measurements, we can now start prepping the toweled inside of the soaker. The width of the toweled area will be twice your blade height. The length will be your blade height plus two centimeters extra as leeway. You can leave more if you like. Now we can measure the outer material. I call them gutters because they're very similar to the towel measurements, just with extra space. The length of this outer material will be your blade length plus five centimeters extra. The width will be twice your blade height plus 10 centimeters extra. It's important that in each gutter on the lengthwise direction of the soaker that you can fit one strip of the elastic band. If you can't do this, then you need a bigger gutter. I think we should add sewing pins to our list because these are really handy to hold the fabric in place before you sew something. Now you can sew over the areas that have been pinned. Turn the soaker inside out and sew one side shut. Only sew along the blue line and not up where the black X is. Stuff the soaker with the pillow fluff until it's puffy but soft. Too much stuffing won't allow the soaker to fit your skate. When finished, sew the open side closed. And again, only sew along the blue dotted line and not where the black X is. Now we can start feeding in the elastic band that you measured out earlier. A trick that I use to make this super easy is attaching a safety pin to the end of the elastic I'll be feeding through. Make sure not to let the opposite end go into the soaker. Keep it exposed. When you're done, you'll have the two ends of the elastic protruding from one end of the soaker. Sew along the blue dotted line. When you're done sewing, snip off any excess elastic. Turn your soaker inside out again and voila, you have one soaker. Repeat the process to make two.